she officials tell us where to put it. We cut it, paint it, and uh, hopefully it comes out nice and straight. My, that's my, uh, let's see, one, two, fifth, fifth open that I've worked at. First time I've done this job. We put a flag there, the blue flag, and uh, Pat cuts it, I paint it. Mike puts the flag in. It's a very, it's a good team effort. First thing we do is pull the old one out here, kind of gently. Pat does that. So he cuts the new cup and he takes the, the material he cuts out of the new spot and puts it right back in here. The depth is, is, is uh, key because the, the cup has to sit in there and have a half an inch of, half an inch of dirt showing above the cup. If it's, if it's too deep, the cup will go too low, there'll be too much grass. If it's not deep enough, the cup is too high and there's too little dirt. And that could affect the ball as it's going in. If the cup's too high, it could hit the edge of the cup and bounce back out. So it's got to be perfect depth. The most important thing is keeping it straight so the pin sits in there straight when the cup goes in. Now we're painting the rim of the cup in white. It's just, uh, it looks really good. It's all for aesthetics. It doesn't really have any other purpose other than aesthetics. It makes the hole look bigger for the players. They can see it from farther away. That's why as superintendents we volunteer because we've all done this stuff. I've been doing it for 35 years, so. Even though I haven't done that particular job recently, you do it once, it comes back to you like, you know, like uh, old times. You want to try your hardest and make it perfect, and you know I, I know that's going to be on TV.